everybody, welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video tonight. I have your Friday Night Smackdown review for you guys, as we did on Monday Night Raw. If you guys missed that, definitely go check that out. I would really appreciate it. But tonight, Friday Night Smackdown was back. We got the June 12th edition of the show. Go home show for Backlash. Backlash coming up in two days. Sunday night, we will have Backlash. Not a pretty stat card, even though we do have the best wrestling match of all time, or the greatest wrestling match ever, taking place on that card. So maybe it'll live up to the hype. But before we get there, we had one more stop at SmackDown here on Friday night. So let's go ahead and dive into the show, giving you everything that happened at Friday night SmackDown, giving you my own personal opinions on all the feuds, matches, segments that happened on the show, and everything in between. So let's dive into Friday night SmackDown and see if they got us hyped up for Backlash coming this Sunday. So Friday Night SmackDown begins with a segment between Sheamus and Jeff Hardy. This feud has been going on for a few weeks now where Sheamus is pretty much sick and tired of all the chances that Jeff Hardy has been getting and pretty much he framed him in a drunk driving accident. He's been calling him a junkie, you know, you're washed up, you're a druggie, you're a piece of trash. And Jeff Hardy is simply saying, you know, that's not who I am. I'm a changed man and pretty much uh, defending his own honor. So in this segment we open up, guys, Sheamus has a doctor in the ring and he pretty much says, I'm not going to rest you until you are drug tested. He has a doctor there, says that it's going to be an on-the-spot rapid test. We'll be able to tell if you have been using drugs like in the next few minutes. So literally in the ring, Jeff Hardy is trying to stand his case, you know, stand his ground, plead his case to Sheamus and say, you know, that's not who I am, yada, yada, yada. He actually does partake of the drug test. He pisses right there in the cup. You can clearly tell that it had to be like apple juice or something, man, because this ish was like dark yellow. This man, if this was his actual piss, he needs to go drink some water immediately. This man was super dehydrated if he was, uh, if that was actually his piss. But Jeff Hardy pretty much takes the piss in the, in the drink and he says, you know what, Brad? Better to be pissed off then pissed on, and he throws the piss in Sheamus's face. Sheamus freaks out, and Jeff Hardy leaves the ring. After we come back from commercial break, Sheamus is washing his mouth out, you know, going crazy. Doctor comes in and pretty much tells Sheamus that the test was negative, so Jeff Hardy has not been taking drugs, and it pisses Sheamus off, and that was pretty much that. I like this segment. I thought it was pretty good. I was invested in it. I think both of these guys have had a lot of passion in this, in this feud so far. I find myself invested, and I actually am ready for these guys to lock up at Backlash. As crazy as it is, I know a lot of people find this segment distasteful and stuff, but I like it. I like realism in my wrestling, and I enjoyed it. So after Sheamus gets pissed off, we cut to the ring, and we have our first matchup. The New Day, the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, having a non-title match with Cesaro and Shinsuke Nakamura. I, I swear to God, I haven't seen Shinsuke Nakamura in forever. It seems like it's good to see him here in this meaningless tag team matchup with the New Day. Nothing too crazy happens in this matchup. However, Kofi goes for a splash onto Shinsuke. He hits him with the knees, and while at the same same time cradling Kofi Kingston and gets him in a pinfall and Shinsuke Nakamura and Cesaro defeat the New Day and I'm guessing you know you guys know as well as I do Shinsuke pins Kofi that means he's in line for a tag team opportunity right I mean the, the, I, I wouldn't even doubt these two get a tag team title match at Backlash on the pre-show or something so I guess this is going to be our tag team feud moving forward there is absolutely no tag teams on Smackdown man I mean my god but anyways that pretty much does it for this matchup Shinsuke pins Kofi Kingston and gets a victory for Shinsuke and Cesaro we cut backstage to Heavy Machinery and Tucker is pretty much explaining to Otis, you know in the main event of SmackDown tonight we have a six man tag match between Heavy Machinery and Braun Strowman taking on Dolph Ziggler and Miz and Morrison and Tucker pretty much was explaining to Otis you know this is a perfect opportunity for you to cash in. Braun Strowman's our tag team partner you could get the upper hand and we could become Universal Champion tonight. And literally as he's explaining that to him out of nowhere Sheamus and Jeff Hardy are in the corner beating the freaking hell out of each other and knocking over Ish and then we cut to freaking commercial. When we come back, guys, we have the Intercontinental Championship match, the finals of the Intercontinental Championship tournament taking place. AJ Styles going for his first Intercontinental Championship versus Daniel Bryan here in the finale, and these guys had a great match, man. They had a great physical matchup back and forth. A lot of commercial breaks in this match, like holy Christ, I think there was like three different commercial breaks in this, in this matchup, but this matchup was hard hitting. It was very classic and old school. You weren't going to find a lot of crazy flip and nips. These guys know how to put on a clinic. They absolutely did. I enjoyed this matchup a lot. It was a great TV match. If you guys missed this match, definitely go check it out. But AJ Styles and Daniel Bryan going back and forth. I really didn't care who won. I just wanted a good match out of the two. And at the end of the day, Daniel Bryan goes for the flying knee and he gets intercepted by AJ Styles. Styles clash on Daniel Bryan. Phenomenal forearm to Daniel Bryan. And AJ Styles is your new Intercontinental Champion. And this is his first Intercontinental 
Championship. So that is very big for AJ Styles. Congratulations to him. And this was a great match, man. If you missed this match, my Styles figure won't stand up. It's pissing me the hell off. This matchup was phenomenal, man. Pun intended. Great stuff between the two guys that beat the hell out of each other. Great submissions and holds and stuff. I don't know where we go from here. I guess we'll, we'll most likely have an IC title feud between the two. But nonetheless, I'm happy for AJ. I thought that Daniel Bryan put on a clinic. He could have easily walked out and I would have been just as happy as I am for AJ. But hopefully we bring some prestige back to the IC title with this win from AJ Styles and we get some good-ish moving forward for the IC title. And uh, this just kicks it off, starting off with a banger match between these two on Friday Night SmackDown. Great match. After this, we pretty much just recapped what has been going on for the Blue Universal Championship between Miz and Morrison and Braun Strowman. All the hijinks, all the pranks that Miz and Morrison have been playing on Braun Strowman. The van flip from last week and that's pretty much what they did. They just recapped all that ish and talked about the main event of tonight with the six-man tag and then Braun cut a promo on Miz and Morrison and Heavy Machinery saying, if you play any BS, I'm not in the mood for your money in the bank business, Brad. After that, we have a tag team championship celebration between Bayley and Sasha in the ring, and they pretty much brag about the championships. You got AEW balloons everywhere. I say that because there were gold, black, and white balloons everywhere. They're cutting promos, their usual ish. Out come Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross. They cut them down, talk about backlash. Then... The Iconics appear on the Titan Tron, cut them down, talk about their ish, and then Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross stand tall pretty much. And I think they attack them both and chase them out of the ring, and then they stand tall, the music plays, and I didn't really give a damn about this segment. I don't care about this match. I'm not invested in anything going on with this feud going into Backlash. They just have not done a good job of getting anybody invested in this. All I'm waiting for is the Bailey and Sasha Banks turn that we are going to get when we eventually get there. But that was pretty much it for this segment. And for the main event, we we had the six-man tag team match between Heavy Machinery and Braun Strowman taking on Miz and Morrison and Dolph Ziggler. Very happy to see Dolph Ziggler here getting at least a matchup, but I think I said that too quickly because the end of this matchup was absolute horse crap. Made him look even worse than he already has had. You look. Made him look even worse than he already has. But he came out in camo gear and some new boots or some repainted boots pretty much. They were his same boots except they were painted a little differently or the patent leather was a little different. They look freaking Fire Flames nasty. But anyways, this match matchup was nothing. I did not care about this. You know, it is what it is. It was pretty much nothing. This matchup was pretty much nothing. In the middle of the match, though, you will be surprised to know that Trash Corbin comes on your screen, right? Trash Corbin comes on the screen, and he pretty much walks up. He's got a cameraman. He says, let's go to the backstage area. Follow me. And then he walks up to Mandy Rose, and Mandy's sitting there, and he's hitting on Mandy and whatever. And then Otis leaves the ring. Tucker gets his ass beat. On the outside, he's getting beat down pretty much. Otis leaves to to take care of Mandy. Beats the hell out of Trash Corbin, leaving Tucker alone to get his ass kicked. Otis comes back to the ring. Dolph Ziggler gets punished by the rest of the field. All three men get handled and Otis does his flying elbow worm thing onto Dolph Ziggler, pinning him and winning the match. And all four of these stand tall, including Mandy Rose, Trash Corbin, Miz, Morrison, and Ziggler. The heels get destroyed. The baby faces stand tall at the end of the show. And I guess that was supposed to be seeds planted for Tucker to eventually turn heel on Otis. I'm not sure. No cash in, nothing like that. Just a pretty much abysmal ending to SmackDown. This ending to SmackDown did not invest me any into Backlash. It was just, just awful. I don't know why the IC title match didn't end the show. Especially when you're gonna end like this. It didn't end on a cliffhanger. It didn't end, you know, with the cash in or nothing like that, which I'm glad it didn't end in cash in. I'm just saying, if you're gonna have this for the main event, I think that the IC title would have been a much better main event for your show. But what do I know, Brad? I don't know. But that was pretty much SmackDown. Oh, nothing too great besides the Intercontinental Championship championship match, I will say. Overall, the show was meh. I love the Intercontinental Championship match. That obviously was a bonus. I liked seeing Ziggler, and I did like the opening segment between Jeff Hardy and Sheamus, but besides that, I was uh, it was a pretty skippable show, but I hope you guys enjoyed the review. I'm not more pumped for Backlash after watching this. I will say I am probably more pumped for the Jeff Hardy Sheamus match. I can say that, but as far as your main championship with the Blue Universal title and Miz and Morrison and all that, absolutely freaking not. I am excited to see where the IC title goes, though, and I'm in intrigued by the Jeff Hardy Sheamus matchup on Sunday. But that does it for your SmackDown Live review, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Comment down below what you thought of SmackDown if you guys watched it alongside me. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter for live tweets during the show if you want my feedback and thoughts on the show immediately as it is happening real time. That is the best way to see it. But I'm getting the hell out of here, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.